and until the age of 17, I had a perfectly normal life. I was pretty, good in school, and in a happy relationship with my boyfriend, Louis. Of course, they had to start out saying that she was pretty, or else the story wouldn't make sense. So you guys probably have already heard of animated storytime channels. A lot of bigger YouTubers have already talked about them. Most of all of the stories that they have posted are fake. The one we will be looking at is called I Lost My Face, which isn't a very common thing to say you've done. So let's hop straight into it. I was on my way back home from ballet practice when a guy ran up to me and threw a bucket full of liquid on my face. So this random kid was hiding and had liquid that he wanted to throw in someone's face. What would be the chances of that happening? I know kids are stupid, but where would they get the acid? And it may have not been acid, it may have been something else, but where would they have gotten that liquid to throw in someone's face? At first, I thought it was a prank, but then my face started to burn more and more until I blacked out. When I woke up again, everything was dark. I thought the lights were off, but something was different. And when I touched my face, I couldn't feel my eyes or nose, and all I had left was my mouth to breathe through. So let me get this straight. You reached up where your eyes should have been, and there was not even eye sockets. There was just skin, and that's not a logical thing that would happen. Also, your nose. Don't know why you wouldn't have a nose, but <laughs> I guess you wouldn't have a nose. The only thing you had left was a mouth. I wanted to cry, but I had no eyes, so instead I said, Where am I? It was hard to speak without lips, but fortunately, my right ear still worked. So the liquid only hit you in the face. It didn't hit your hair. It didn't hit your other skin. It only hit you in the left ear, in the eyes, in the nose, and partially your mouth where they had to cut your lips off. After she calmed down, she told me that someone had thrown acid in my face. Who could have guessed? It was acid. This is a very logical thing that definitely could happen. So it wasn't a nightmare. My face was really gone, but my anger quickly turned to shame when my boyfriend came to my hospital bed. He asked me, how are you? But it didn't even sound like he was worried about me. I could even hear a bit of disgust in his voice. If you actually had a boyfriend like that, first of all, I don't know why he would be there. But if he actually love you because of this, because of the way you look, because of a stupid accident that wasn't your fault, I don't know why he would still be with you. And this time, I was able to cry. I could feel that somewhere under my skin, tears were forming. You cried because of your boyfriend, not because you didn't have any eyes or nose because of your boyfriend leaving you. One of my old classmates had threatened me, saying, Be careful, or I'll throw acid on you. But that was two years ago, and I never took it seriously. They figured out that my old classmate who had threatened me two years before had an affair with my boyfriend Louis behind my back. But because he didn't want to break up with me, she paid her cousin 200 pounds to throw acid in my face. You had an affair with her boyfriend, and the first logical thing to do was to get acid and throw it in the other person's face. I asked why she had done it, and she explained that she had always envied my beauty. She said it broke her heart when me and Louis became a couple, and the only way to take him away from me was to destroy my beauty. So the person telling the story has been beautiful. She said it multiple times already, and her friend is jealous of her beauty. So the first logical thing is to throw acid at her. The hardest part is that I'll probably never find another boyfriend. After what happened to my face, my now ex-boyfriend Lewis cut off all contact with me. So her boyfriend blocked her on social media. He destroyed everything he had on her just because she's not beautiful anymore. But luckily, there are many jobs for blind people like me. Right now, I'm working as a call center agent during the day, and I've also started practicing DJing as a new hobby. How can you work on a call center during the day and a DJ at night without being able to barely hear and without being able to see? Do you see why I'm having a hard time believing this? These channels are making multiple videos a day. Most of the time, they just repeat the same exact stories they've already told, but with a different person. I'm not saying all of these story time channels are fake, but most of them are. I still don't get why they are getting so many views on the same exact stories they've already told. That's the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy, hit the like button if you want, leave a comment, and yeah.
don't make a fake animated story time channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.